Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Techie Josh, and this is my iPhone 5S setup for March 2018. So, the iPhone 5S. You guys have seen me unbox it pretty cringely on my channel, and I have not yet been able to do my review on it, and honestly, I have no clue when the review is coming. I have not started working on it or done anything about it, so... With that being said, I just thought I would like to show you around my iPhone 5S since I still use it to this day in 2018. So with that said, let's get started. So as you can see, I have a case on my iPhone 5S. This is a Space Gray 16 GB Straight Talk slash Total Wireless iPhone 5S. And I have a body glove case on it. As you can see right here, body glove. I'm not sure what model it is, followed by a pretty nice Apple sticker. I'm pretty sure this one's fake of course because um, as you can see it has like a black outline on the whole thing so I don't think real ones uh, have black outlines and then upon unlocking it or turning it on in general you see that I have one of the stock Apple wallpapers and as we speak right now I have three bars of service full Wi-Fi for Wi-Fi signal keeps turning off 62% battery rotation lock turned on it's 253 Thursday March 15th yes I'm actually recording this a day before it's going to go live I plan on uploading this basically tomorrow but by the time you guys see this the it's already out so I have touch ID all set up and it still works pretty flawlessly so here's my main page of apps and we're gonna go through them even though you guys most likely know um, the function of these apps. So first is mail. I I use mail every now and then, not too often. Calendar, pretty self-explanatory. I really never use it. Uh, photos, I won't go into because of certain reasons. Camera, if we flip over here, there I am. And if you couldn't tell just then, I'm wearing the same shirt that my new profile picture on YouTube is featured in. Sorry, that may have come out a little wrong. I use that quite a bit. Maps. I don't use this. I don't use Apple Maps. I use a third-party Maps application, which we will get to. Clock. I really never use, but I have these uh, cities and or country well cities right there weather right now it's currently 62 degrees partly cloudy in Moreno Valley next we have news I very rarely use this application if any at all home I never use this application notes I, I use this app every now and then. For example, here's a note that I took on, when did it say? 1025 of last year. Became an iOS beta tester, currently on iOS 11.1 beta 5. And very quickly, this iPhone 5S here is all updated on iOS 11.3 public beta 6, if I'm not mistaken. Next is the stocks application really never use it. It's just kind of interesting to look at, if anything. Reminders. Use it every once in a while when I need to remind myself to do something. Apple TV. I never use this application. Luckily, on iOS 10, if you touch and hold the icons, you can now delete stock apps from the home screen, which is very cool. I have not done so. And I kind of want to keep the stock layout. I don't want to have to delete an app and get it back. Next is the App Store. Now, honestly, every single person uses this. And it's, it's where I update all my applications and download all my applications. Pretty self-explanatory. iTunes Store, on the other hand, I never use. You can tell right there I, I don't use it. And sorry for the lighting, it seems a little weird right now. Books, again, I never use this application. 
as you can see it's very slow iOS 11 in general is pretty slow on this iPhone 5s it is such an old phone such an old flagship house application again I never use it wallet never use it settings use it all the time nothing special about it snapchat now the reason why this app is on the main screen is because I use it literally a lot a lot more than any other uh, social media app and if you want to add me then please do so it'll be much appreciated of course all my social media links will be down below in the description as always but in case you don't you guys don't read the description then here you go you can either uh, screenshot or take a picture of the of the uh, uh, what's it called the snap code or you can add me by username or however you like and my score is currently 8981 so I'm pretty active on here and that's basically for the main page but down here we get phone I kinda don't want you I kinda don't want you guys to see those numbers but anyway it doesn't matter you guys probably already did and I probably held it there long enough so you can pause and go back. But anyway, please don't call us unless I know you. Pretty self-explanatory. I use that on occasion. Safari. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. I use it quite a bit. but I use it quite a bit when I'm on here, but it's nothing special. Oh, skip the app. Uh, we have messages or Apple messages or however you want to say it messages last number I texted Then we have Apple music which I opened up instead of messages. I really never use this application You can see there by that little intro message If you guys didn't know already this iPhone 5s is activated I have service on it so Next page of apps, FaceTime. I don't have any friends anymore that have iPhones and that like to uh, FaceTime, unfortunately. Uh, a true fact is that I feel like I'm losing friends as the days go on for whatever reason. Like people just don't like me anymore for whatever reason. But, but that's beside the point. Next app is podcasts. I used to listen to podcasts, but just not really anymore. Calculator, pretty self-explanatory, really never use it, I don't need to. Apple Watch app, never use it because I don't have an Apple Watch. Very clean app though, for what it is. Uh, we get your file manager here, or the next app is file manager, which is now included in iOS. Me personally, I never use it. Then next we get a folder called extras, this is basically the stock folder such as uh, compass as you can see here for whatever reason mine doesn't seem to work as you can see here It's just stuck on 359 degrees Swipe over and we can see we get a leveler This surface here is level as according to this application Go back into it Tips never use basically um, Tips with iOS 11 as you can see there what's new in iOS 11 Voice memos, never use it. Contacts, as you can see here, I barely have any contacts. Uh, find friends, never use. Again, I don't have any trusting friends anymore with iOS devices that I can, you know, how you say, use this application for. Find my iPhone, which... I, ha I have it enabled on all my iOS devices, but I honestly never use it. I just go on here just very rarely, like very, very rarely, rarely uh, to check certain devices. But as you can see, it takes forever. Now, we're, get we're going to go ahead and get into um, uh, third-party applications, meaning the applications that I've downloaded. So, here we have Driving School by OVLEX software 
uh, driving school 2016 two-year-old application is what it seems and it's basically a game where you can uh, where you drive a car uh, you can do a free ride or you can go career um, so I have the Escalade or have a Escalade I don't know if you can hear that music hopefully I don't get copyrighted and I have that SUV the SUV unlocked cars unlocked you get the idea so far and then let's just say select and then you get a selection of maps Berlin New York Seattle Copenhagen or Hagen sorry I may be mispronouncing that now let's turn the volume down just in case Alps Amsterdam Arizona Andes Mountain and that's basically it well to sum it up shortly it's a driving simulator probably one of the best driving simulators I've used and then next we have dunk shot you guys have seen me compare or have seen me open this app on several of my comparisons but honestly I really never use it anymore but I just have it just in case I want to play it you guys should be familiar with this screen ads ads everywhere there you go then we get the iOS feedback app meaning you can um, I have to sign in but basically with this application you can basically tell Apple themselves or write to Apple saying that there's a bug with iOS 11.3 beta public beta 6 for example saying that my apps crash a lot etc you guys should get the idea then we have Flabby Bird yes this is the original Flabby Bird but unfortunately it just gives me this error saying that it needs to be updated and the developer of this app needs to update it to work with iOS 11 so that basically no longer works sadly then we have Google Maps now this is the app the maps application I was talking about that I use whenever I have to use it works very well then we have iMovie which a lot of people should be familiar with I haven't really used it any YouTube the all-famous YouTube app here's my subscriptions if anybody is interested oh uh, while I was in here let's go ahead and take a look up here I would like to thank every single one of my 3386 subscribers you guys are just amazing I cannot ask for more damn I may have just screwed that up I'm sorry but just be aware that I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys then next we have the Instagram application I use this quite a bit well I mostly use it just to browse I really never post that much but here's my feed if anybody is interested is some of my feed not all of it there's Brandon cat at the top of my feed not giving him a shout out I'm just um, well there you go uh, here's my profile again if you want to follow me it'll be much appreciated it'll be down below in the description and here is my bio if you have a hard time trying to find me for whatever reason currently at 119 followers I had 121 about like five days ago or less than five days ago I'm down to 119 for whatever reason and there's my bio if you guys uh, you know would like to read it there we go uh, here's my feed I have pretty crap feed honestly like what I post it just is not good at all I actually highly I, I just regret my feed I really do it's like it just angers me whenever I look at it it may seem pretty good from like here this distance but it honestly trust me it really isn't I'm ashamed of what I post actually I'm, I'm not joking next we have the cake application I never use this app anymore I just don't care for it anymore actually and plus probably most of my friends if we go up here come on pretty sure most of these people have changed their usernames and I can no longer talk to them so there's that again another sign I don't have much friends anymore next is messenger 
I don't really use this app too often, but I do every once in a while. If it ever loads. That's one problem with iOS 11 on the 5S, it's just that it's painfully slow. Uh, next we have the track phone application. This is where I go to uh, add money to my account to keep this thing activated. And this app also lets you uh, transfer between devices that you have already activated. So if we go over here, profile, touch ID for my account, that's really nice. Huh, not what I want. But you guys should uh, get the idea. I can basically uh, switch between my previously active devices somewhere in this application. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. 5S, uh, ZMAX Champ, that device, and the LG Rebel. Presuming this one here that it's just all numbers is my Galaxy Luna. Because I did activate that one for a period of time, but I didn't really like it. So back to the 5S, and it's working fine. Next app is OfferUp. Now, I genuinely think that OfferUp is broken, or maybe they actually kicked me out and blocked me from using it because if I go over here, well, it looks like I'm logged in there, but if I go over here, oh, wait. Oh, this is my uh, Facebook. This is my Facebook profile, which apparently I have to use because my original profile. I would log in right here, it would display my information, and if I go to any others, like right here, my offers or notifications, it just tells me to log in or sign up, which is very odd. And this is an app that you can basically buy, sell, and or trade items. For example, here is a iPhone 7, 440. You could say that you can, you can ask or you can make an offer, pretty self-explanatory. I never really use it anymore because it kind of broke on me and I'm pretty mad that I have to use my Facebook account which I don't want to but it looks like that's what I'll have to resort to. Then we have Offroad Outlaws. Now an uh, old friend of mine, uh, we really like this game but he just lost interest in it unfortunately and I have no one to play with. That may sound a little childish but it's true. This is a really addictive application. Uh, right now I'm sitting at 90 gold and 56,172 uh, money right up here and I have at this moment 638 XP right there in the middle and I have about six vehicles including this Range Rover or Land Rover with tracks, a dirt bike and a really BA looking uh, Ford F-150 with um, uh, blood splatter on the front and a rack and tracks then over here we have a ATV, a four-wheeler. Next to it, we got another one, but this one's a camo-wrapped ATV. Then we have a side-by-side -side or UTV. Uh, no, I'll just call it side-by-side. -side. I may be wrong when I say UTV, because I think a UTV has a bed in the back. But this one has a nice uh, blackish-gray fade-to-white uh, paint on it with a blue stripe going down the middle, so that's pretty cool. My overall favorite vehicle has got to be this Ford, though. It's just BA. And if you click on play, single player, multiplayer, for right now, single player. And by default, this is unlocked. Woodlands is unlocked. You have to unlock those by uh, a certain amount. No, I don't want that. Back. Come on. Performs really well on the 5S, but the battery is just the main thing that I have problems with with the 5S. I started out at 62%. I'm down to 52 right now as I speak, and we're just about done. Next is Spotify. I use this application, but just not as much as I kind of thought I would. This, actually, this video is actually turning out to be a lot longer than I was expecting, but that's all fine. Over here, browse my library. You can get a take a quick look at my um, recently played artist or tracks or whatever. Right there. And last page, I only have about eight apps. Yeah, I actually had to count. But anyway, we have Pandora, another music application. I really dig the new icon much better than the plain blue one again it takes forever 
on this phone painfully painfully slow this is what people have to live with though on the 5s skip to Pandora and it's playing a song thank goodness the volume is turned down next we have Periscope I don't really Periscope all, um, at all really anymore but I'm thinking of getting back into it this app will linked will be linked down below uh, my profile or just yeah um, well actually before I stutter anymore um, I will leave my link down below in the description for this app as well it won't take you to this um, page but it will take you to this app and then you can search for me and uh, zero groups I'm following 15 I have 17 followers which is which is quite odd because well I don't really use this application anymore but I used to these are the blocked people they were being rude to me at one point in time I have 13 broadcasts there's a quick look at some of mine recently watched zero super fans of course is zero but yeah there's that guy right there I used to, I used to interact with a lot unfortunately nowadays he's just doesn't like really talking to me anymore is what it seems but besides that let's go to the next application it's called stairs and this is made by the same people that made dunk shot as you can see by the intro screen sorry for that I just had to quickly cough but anyway another ad I haven't really played this at all in the past like month or so I just let it set on here uh, there we go and basically you just hold down on the screen and it moves this ball and you have to move your arm or your finger back and forth and avoid these spikes. I'm sorry if I'm not going to be in frame and there you go. My highest is 319 and every so often these stairs change color and I'm at 192 uh, gems up there. And here are the different sections. Common balls or common awards I think perfect jumps reverse controls upside down and more coming soon then for the balls I have that one unlocked a plain white one I have really none of these unlocked and then there's the default black one that proves that I really don't play this game all that often next we have truescape which I honestly claim to be the best um, how you say real skateboarding game skip so there we go here continue news I don't care about and then you just drag it along and you can just do all sorts of tricks and that sound is like turned down right now is why you can't hear any sounds it, it literally it sounds like a real uh, skateboard and real like sounds in general again I'm sorry if I'm not going to be in frame all that well but for the most part you guys can see what I'm doing yeah, you can basically go around this park. There is obviously more parks and more skateboards to download, but I don't have the money to do anything like that, unfortunately, for iOS. I have Google Play credit, but of course, this is not an Android phone. You can do all sorts of tricks. You can do a lot of combos, grinds, or you can just basically roam around this park and just explore. You don't even need to hold on to the board, but you do have to hold on to it when, you're, when you have to steer. I kind of like glitching this out. Um, it takes a bit to glitch it out, but I kind of like to every so often when I'm playing the game. Next app is Zombie HQ. It's pretty, actually it's a really good game. As you'll see here when it loads up, Zombie HQ, tap to start, play. This is probably the most realistic zombie um, shooter game that I've seen. Uh, this is probably free on the Play Store, but or play, uh, free on the App Store. But don't get me, don't get me wrong. I'm not sure if it is or not. I'm pretty sure it is, or else I probably wouldn't have it. But over here is a shop where you can buy different things. I have all these guns. I play this for a long. I've played this app for a long time, but not at one time. And I've unlocked a lot of things and gotten a lot of things. And basically, all these missions are opened up, and it's like a literal map. Sorry, my finger kind of was a little weird right there. And then right now I'm currently setting at a uh, level 19, 26,000, or no, wait, yeah, 26,000, 
Oh my god. I apparently can't read how much money I have. 268,320 dollars. There we go. And 2,870 gold and I'm on level 24. Or... Oh wait, no, I have 24 um, energy bars. I think that's what they're called. And I've unlocked a lot of, um, a lot of items to get more of those, get more uh, money and whatnot and energy bars. Next is an app called Unicorn. I'm not sure if it's just called Unicorn or what, but in general, this is a coloring book for adults. I, well, I would say it's for all ages. Um, so here's a lot of different images that you can basically choose and you can color. Some of them, well, basically a lot of them have these orange uh, pluses on them. Uh, if I click on one, it's it's basically for premium members. It's trying to figure out the best way to uh, say, you know, say that. If we go here to my artwork, all these have, has, sorry, I'm getting a little screwed up. All these pictures here are the ones that I have colored over time. And I have a, I have a freaking ton of them here. I always like to uh, do this one. That like that, I call this the uh, photo of the day. And as you can see, it says color me by watching a video. And then I do, I do these as well. And there's only 20 of them, which I don't really like. I've done most of them already. Just put it in short. It's a, a coloring book for all ages. Then we have merge things, which is basically f uh, for a merge cube. As you can see there, Google it if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Merge cube. But basically it's a foam cube is all I can really say. Phone mode. And then it brings you to this screen and you have to put the uh, put the uh, cube in front of it and scan it. And then it'll, well, it'll basically become alive. You guys have to uh, Google it for yourself if you don't think I'm clear enough. And then the very last app on my iPhone 5S is another coloring app, but this is Pixel Art. It's definitely not as good as the previous coloring app that I showed. As you can see here, I don't want premium. I don't care about premium. As soon as I get done coloring all the free photos, I'll just go ahead and uninstall both of them, believe it or not. But some of them, like for example... I don't know. This one, the lantern, is free to color if I tap on it. Of course, an ad. Um, but anyway, we don't care about ads. Nobody likes them. But anyway, that has been uh, my iPhone 5S setup for March 2018. And before I go, I would like to mention, I don't know who, I don't know how many of you care, but I would like to mention that my birthday is coming up at the end of this month. And as of right now, as of this video, I'll see if I can make some video on my birthday. I don't know if it's going to be anything special. But we'll see if I do anything on that day. But anyway, if you like this video, then please like or dislike if you didn't. Turn on the post notifications so that you'll never miss when I upload. And sub subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. And with all that said, I'll see you guys again in the next video.